Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about something I get asked about all the time, data linking, meaning I want to be able to bring an Excel spreadsheet into AutoCAD, and when I update the Excel spreadsheet, I wanted to also change the table inside of AutoCAD, or I'd, maybe I'd like it to go the other way as well. What if I change the table inside of AutoCAD? Can I get it to update my Excel spreadsheet? Absolutely, you can. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, so it's a bit of a long tip. Hang in there with me. It's going to be worth it. Okay, so first off, we are going to go over to a, in this case, I have a door and frame schedule. I have um, some Excel data. And to me, the easiest way of going about doing this, go ahead and pull that down, is simply to do a copy. Grab the cells that you want, copy those, and then go back into AutoCAD and we're not going to do a paste, we're going to do a paste special, which actually happens to be located on the home tab on the ribbon. So I'm going to do a paste special. And I want to link it, so I'm going to hit paste link, and this is key here. You want to bring this in as AutoCAD entities, all right? So I'm going to say OK, and now it's simply just a matter of picking in your drawing where you want that door schedule to go. OK, I'm going to zoom in on that. You can see there it is right there. All right, so. A little bit more information though. I'm going to make this as smart as possible. I want it to allow, I want to allow this linking, this writing back and forth from the source file, right? Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go to the annotate tab and you will see that there's an option for, oops, wrong one, <laughs> for data linking, okay? This is the data link manager. Let me go ahead and select that. And it knows that I happen to have one data link in here. That's the one I just inserted. Let's give it a name that makes sense to start with. Let's call this my adore and frame so I can remember which one it is and then we want to edit it right click edit we're gonna go into editing it because this is really key you'll see in this in this big dialog box allow writing to source file and that is a key piece of information right there's some other things in here that you might want to take a look at but that is the one that I'm most focused on right now for this tip today right, I'm gonna to say okay and give it a second to think and then do one more okay and this is where we're going to see the see it happen. All right, let's go back out to our Excel spreadsheet and let's make some changes. Maybe this should be, I'm going to go to this fourth one down here. Maybe I really wanted that one to be hollow metal instead of wood. I'm just going to make some random changes. And maybe I want that to be 1.8. Okay, so can you remember that? The fourth one down here is going to be hollow metal. It used to be wood. And we changed it. You'll see all of these are going to look like 1.8 now, right? Okay, so what do I have to do? I have to save this, right? i got to save this. In fact, I'm going to actually close it, and you'll see why in just a bit, and I'm going to go back into AutoCAD. Now, when I go into AutoCAD, you will see that AutoCAD says, hey, a data link has changed, and I can click right on here, update the tables, which I'm going to do. Now, watch the screen. The fourth one down changes to hollow metal, right? And over here, you'll see that I have a value of 1.8. Eight, right? So it made the change. It's just that simple. Now the reason I closed the Excel spreadsheet, because you don't have to, the reason I did is because now I'm going to actually write back to the Excel spreadsheet. We're going to go and we're going to open that and we're going to uh, see if the changes were made. Okay, so let's, so as I, as I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here, and I want you to notice as I select these cells here, can you see there's a big lock? So right now it is locked, prohibiting me from making changes here, which is kind of by default and kind of good, so you don't have these random users making changes that they shouldn't be. Maybe they should be working from the Excel spreadsheet, and they're going to have to do a little bit of work if they want to go the other direction. Pull this down. I just want to grab quite a few cells. There we go. And I'm going to do a right click, and I'm going to go to locking, and I'm going to say unlock. Okay, so now these guys, I can actually make modifications to them. All right, wait, let's come in here and let's uh, let's change this one back to um, wood. And uh, let's change this one to, uh, let's make it really silly. And you'll see I, I don't have the right style on here, but that's okay, you'll get the idea. Let's change that to a, a plastic, <laughs> plastic wood? We're gonna have a plastic door, okay? And I really should have saved that in the right format, but that's okay, you're gonna get the general idea. All right, so now what do I do? Now I'm gonna select my table, let's do a right click, and I'm, you'll see there's this option, write data links to external source, all right? So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click on that, and you'll see that it lets you know if it worked or not. One data leak written out successfully. Okay, all right, well let's check it out. I'm gonna go back out here to Excel, come on down here, and I'm gonna open up my door and frame schedule, and did it work? Here's plastic, here's wood. 
How easy was that, right? Pretty simple. All right, so try to remember that. It's very easy to link an Excel spreadsheet into AutoCAD, bring it in and link it, and you can set it up whether you can set it up so you can update it inside of AutoCAD and have it reference the Excel spreadsheet or what most people want to be able to change the Excel spreadsheet and have it update inside of AutoCAD. It was just that simple, right? Pretty, pretty simple. All right, thank you for joining me. Thanks for hanging in there for this extra long Tip and Trick Tuesday. And I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Have a great rest of the week.